Welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about the tier list of aliens mode. So um, I'm going to make the tier list for, for crew battle also. I did a tier list for PvP in July 2020, the couple weeks ago, I think two weeks ago. Now this is going to be the aliens mode and tomorrow will be the crew battle one. I know for the crew battle one the tier list will be look a little bit different. I'll talk about it in the video when it comes out. So. First of all, we got our 49 dices and we're going to start it as always. So, nuclear dice. So this dice in co-op mode isn't so good like in... I think in PvP that dice is better. Uh, for, so I'm also judging as always from class 12 to class 20 from those classes. You can see I can judge from class 12 to class 16 because I'm in those classes but... Um, I would say if, if you use nuke dice, you will end up around class 25 to 30. But if you play with a combo player, you might get a little bit higher. Depends on how often you want to use it when it's critical situations. Also does some percentage damage to the boss. Also can help. I will put it in BD. Uh, it's not the dice you want to use, but... It can be useful if you use it right. Coming to the next solar. Solar, where you want to play solar. In the support decks, you wouldn't play solar. It doesn't make sense. In the PS decks, you can play solar. You can play solar. Uh, um, solar, how you call it? Solar. Uh, solar gun? No. Ah, I, that's why I'm confused. It's, it's light. It's light. I was always th I'm thinking solar. So you can play solar light, but um, I'm not sure the light after the nerf. It's I'll put it in B tier, like new. It's I think it's the same levelish. So and coming to the next dice, as always, go if you don't need to think about it. You can play it in even support decks. Depends on because you can play it with meta. And you have high meta to combine, or you play it in combo, you play it in solar, you play it in every deck. It's growth, it's every, I think it's everywhere as tier. But maybe not for crew battle, who knows? You will see that tomorrow. Uh, coming to the next deck, Summoner. Summoner is actually also pretty good, not beat here. I will put it A. Plus. It's not S, but it's still very good. Sometimes you have some. So, um, Summoner's laying around and that could be annoying, but actually Summoner is very good. Assassin. Assassin since it depends. Yeah, I put it A plus to A. I put it A. Why I put it A? Because most, if you want to surpass to the higher stages, you you are not going to play. You're going to play with a combo player. But if you play with a combo player, you don't need assassin. But in many other decks, uh, assassin can be nice. And if you play assassin right, so it's a, a a a plus in between. But I will put it a. Ice dice actually. It used to be a thing to play ice dice now. But now, I'll put a B plus. It's still useful, but in the higher stage, you don't see ice very much. You can play it in the support deck. But it's your choice because the bosses are mostly the issues. The stages the, itself, the night can be an issue. Then ice will be very nice. But I put a B plus. It's still very good B plus. It's almost uh, the, uh, up the, um, uh, how you call it? The better half of the list, I was saying. Torn. I tried Torn. Torn, it's okay. I put a B plus as well. It's okay. You can play it, but it's your choice. Mighty Wind. Yeah. Depends. If you have Moon, maybe Mighty Wind can be good. Who knows? But I put it in B. Crack dice. I think the defense break is low. It 
the br different bricks was higher, then crack would be higher on the list. But else, uh, okay, I'll put death dice. I won't put a D tier because it can be useful, but you need something like moon to be to death to be useful. So without death, you can play solar. I did it once. I got far, but the boss stages are then the problem. The infection I put it B plus, uh, not B plus B tier. It's good, but later on the damage won't be enough. Absorb, I once once I put it higher, but the SP gaining you gain from the I put a B. The SP you gain from absorb could be high if you play sand and ice. Yeah, then you can gain a lot of SP, but and you don't need many absorbs on the field, but. I think there are better SP dice out there. Joker, no doubt S tier. This is S tier, you don't need. There's no deck you don't want to play Joker in co op mission. Support DPS, every deck. In crew battle, you can say it's a little bit different because in crew battle, I had, uh, I'm trying different things. And there we come to the read meal tomorrow. Even Joker, you don't need to talk much about it. Lock dice, I put a B tier. It can be useful at the beginning if you don't have a uh, second slow like sand or whatever. You can use even lock with ice. Can be useful. Hell dice, I put it in B plus. It can be useful in DPS and support. You can play it in support. You slow the enemy down and then you have your hell dice supporting your teammates. So when you play support, you can play hell dice in it. So the slow effect then you kill the things also when the things are very slow. You have a chance and then the DPS partner can finish the things off. Also B plus can be useful. It's an anti um, Leon, but Leon isn't mostly the issue. And you need to class this uh, shield up so it can be effective against the knight. That would be nice. Modified. Mm, yeah, I put a B tier in Corp. It isn't that best option because in the longer runs when i say longer runs i mean if you surpass stage 80 not 50 those are the lower numbers if you surpass stage 80 which ones are very effective um i put this also in b, b tier because it can be very useful when you i think when you pair holy shit with uh, moon can be very effective i did a video once with um, holy shield with solar but with moon it will be much stronger and think about it um they buff the uh, holy shield dice so it also attacks the bosses so you could say it's better than hell it's about you need moon to make this one effective so i put a b tier blizzard dice i put it in a as well it's very strong you need so um you mostly play those blizzard in support decks you know what blizzard is the last in my last meta list i put um ice before blizzard but nowadays the waves are the stronger problems so blizzard is a better dice so back in the day the co-op mission was definitely different had a different setup so with the new setup the blizzard is more the better dice now Solar, um, I will put Solar A+. Plus. A+, plus, yeah. Oh, should I? Because, yeah, you need to control your things, so it's a little bit harder. But A+, plus is still a very good rating. Don't. Um, so you can play it with Assassin support. Meta isn't really the best support for Solar, because they need to sustain their field, so sometimes they leave their field as it is. So Assassin would be a better support for this deck. Uh, sand, even though I'm not using Sand in support anymore, I still put it in... It's A, it's... Um, a, I leave it A-. minus. It's very good, it has strong, slow effects. But... Um, most players when they do the long runs they don't want that much slow but it's still very effective yeah 
and it spawns even when the knight is there. Element dies. Actually, element, I put it in A. It's very effective. I try to make. Actually, I can make a video with Punish. Yeah, Punish. There's a player called Punish. He has lately got combo. I might try with him, even though I got my combo, and I did my highest run, uh, run with him. He has even higher runs, uh, but I think the video will be after this video, or I'm not sure when I post the video, but I think this video will come on Friday. I'm recording on Friday, I think you can see the, how you call it, the date, it's the 17th. I think I got the whole screen as a video. Yeah, and yeah, um, Element. If you play element, you need to play Blizzard. If you play element with sand, I'm not sure if that's effective as well. You can play those two together, so it will be more effective. But I notice element the damage from those dots flying around, doing huge of damage. And the second part of its effect, when it's got silenced by the boss, like you saw the one update where the flow got set that when it's on silence, there will be no slow effect. But there's element is good because when it gets silenced the dots will be still flying around that's what also i noticed since the last up the, uh, the where the flow dice got nerfed swap uh, i saw a video from uh, the juice and i i didn't talk about it but swap dice is actually better than i thought in pvp not P not for co-op um, I'll put it B minor, uh, C it's not really, but for, I think, uh, I don't know at which place I put swap, maybe I would put it higher, because the swap dice is a counter to uh, assassin, because when you swap around your dices, the uh, assassination won't assassinate your dice. Uh, this is the gamble dice, and this is random, yeah, they, they have similar names. Gamble and random is, yeah, well, you know what it is. So gamble, I tried it with even solar. I think with moon would be better. I put it B minus. You can use it, but there are lots much more better dice out there. Even I got one K crit damage in. It. Yeah, this one you don't want to play. It's it's too, too random. Teleport you don't want to play because um, I see some player playing teleport in, a, in how you call it support decks. Don't play support. Maybe in DPS, but if you play this in support deck and play this against the magician, you're going to lose your whole field. Yeah, landmine. I put landmine to B A minus A minus A minus. It's still very good. Um, could also help you to when combo mess up, kilt help you get out of the round. And then this combo can have enough time to set it up again. Poison, I put a B minus. At the beginning, it will be strong, but on the later stages, the monsters will have so much HP, the poison won't be that much of a changer. Laser dice, it's actually very good. Since the crew battle, everybody using. It's not everybody using it, but laser dice is now more used, and it got a second buff. That's also, and laser dice can be useful in PvP and when you have slow uh, PvP corp mission. Wind dice. I did a video recently with wind dice. I still put a B minus. It doesn't do any damage. It can be useful with hell dice. That's the only purpose I see in this dice. So you can compare with this, and then. Because this one doesn't need, it doesn't need any transformation. It's always strong. Uh, I would, I would like to use the gun deck, uh, the gun with moon. And when I got my seven dot, this would be insane. It will load things faster. Uh, but for now, I don't see any. I put in B. It's good, but the problem with the sniper is it need. It's only good when it's at 7 stars, so it has some condition. Back in the day, you would say gun will be A, A minus, or even A plus. But now, since there are better dice out there, uh, the sniper isn't the best. Mimic. 
I will put Mimic to A minus. Ne, uh, B plus, B plus. Because the Mimic is only useful in one specific deck, and that's a deck of combo. So, so the combo user shows you can use combo more. I'll put it A minus because it's, it's um how you call it, it's necessary for combo to play mimic. So I put it A minus because combo players need to play mimic in co-op missions because if you don't play it, they they won't get a high combo. But mimic is only up there because of combo dice. If there was no combo dice in game, mimic will be more or less down on the list because you don't play mimic in any solar decks you don't play it in support decks you play it mostly in how you call it um you play it mostly in combo decks and now talking of the devil combo you already know it s tier s tier this is the strongest guys at the moment out there the strongest for the most dps of course they got some supports to uh, to support their dps some support dice so will come to them when they get onto the list but combo dice what makes combo dice so much stronger is because the damage outpost does not has any limit the typhoon dice is strong but it has a limit when you get it to seven star and to max level that's the limit. But combo dice, you can combine, 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 and over the time, and the combo orb, which goes also over time, it will get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. There's no limit to combo. There's no limit. I got a combo over 100. There's no limit to combo. That's the strongest dice out there. I don't think how... They, they, <clears throat> they actually have nerfed combo. That's fine. They shouldn't nerf it, okay? I know combo is there, but at the moment... When you look at PvP, combo isn't the um, uh, issue. The issue is Solar right now. Even I don't see people using the 9 dot Solar. Uh, th that update wasn't... It's a good thing that Solar have 9 dot, but people reckon people with 4 dot Solar. If they did a 7 dot Solar, then, then uh, I was saying they should have done a 7 dot, but the 7 dot one would be broken. That, that they would taken over pvp yeah uh, but not alone because of solar they had support and that support is also an st you already know which support i'm talking about the one that makes almost every dps dps dice so amazing the only dice i'm missing it's always one op dice i'm missing but when i get that one many there are lots of players missing that dice so let's get continuing to the list i'm talking too much right now uh, critical dice, I'll put it the same as uh, solar, uh, light. Like, why, why I keep always calling the light solar? I think I boy uh, because I used to play solar light. That's why I call it the solar light. Whatever. Critical, It's it got nerfed. If it didn't got nerfed, maybe it would be A-. minus. But, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's just a supportive type. It doesn't do any DPS. Uh, gear dice, I put it B minus because you can use it in speed runs to the night. After the night, you need to set up your gear dice again. That might take time. And in the later stages, when you reach stage 50, you see the night always. You see it every uh, 10 waves. Then you're going to see the, uh, how you call it? The Leon that's going to decrease the dots. So I don't think gear is is good for end game. At mid game, you'll say yeah. Early game mm, depends on how what your dice you have and your crit and so on. Sacrifice. Mm, I put it B B plus. It's a good dice. Gives you a lot of SP when you use it against the knight Leon. Or the magician, you get SP. But I don't like people playing this dice over the other dice I said in my other video because this is more of a selfish dice. But still, it's very good. Uh, supplement, I put it in B. Can be useful in Solar decks. Can be useful. Combo your one place supplement. 
you can play it in support text so you have a higher meta but it's your option if you want to do that time dice i put a b i know there's some decks out there they can control t uh, time the solar some solar decks you have nine dot and then you control the things with uh, time so the solar is faster so the time increases the power but that is a niche kind of dice in pvp you won't see people playing that time meta i put even after nerf i put meta as an a tier because that's the main dice that supports the, uh, your opponent with uh, your teammate with sp that's the main dice every combo player is searching for meta meta to support them with sp because they are focusing on dps combining combining things and if you have meta they will like it even more they have now then have enough sp to do their combo and increasing their damage and you do then uh, give them sp or you can play also some other things to make the run smoother bring a semi dps uh, deck so semi dps is half dps half support those decks are also welcome yeah um typhoon i put it in b plus but typhoon isn't the best option it can be strong at the beginning I put I would say Typhoon you can play it in a semi DPS deck. Yeah. Nah 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 you don't play this this these these are the beginners that you don't play it at all. You get it at the beginning, you get better dices, replace them. Those are trash because this is a worse worse version of modified and this the stats are just too low. You don't wouldn't consider playing them. Flow dice, mmm I would say flow dice can be B tier because if you play flow dice, make sure you play blizzard as well because the flow effect of blizzard is lower than the blizzard effect. So if you want to make the run slower, you can play flow dice. So it starts at your opponent's, at your partner's field. It's the difference till it gets to the whole field. Yeah. Energy dice. <sighs> yeah, it can be useful. I put a B tier, but I don't like the dice. I... Maybe it can be useful with Moon. It is like um, combo; it has no limit, but you need to gain lots of SP as well. Yeah, then this dice won't have any limits, but I don't think it will get to B plus because it needs setups. You need so much SP. You need to play SP heavy da a deck. I should have closed the windows, but uh, I think I'll close it for the next time. Iron, I'll put a B as well. They see lots of B, yeah, there's, that's the standard. I'll say B tiers, the standard. Um, yeah, Iron can be useful against boss stages even after stage 50. The, the Iron do does double damage to bosses. Depends on what class you have your iron, it can be useful, but I don't think it would be B plus tier worth. Moon, that's the dice I was talking the whole time. That is the best support, the one I'm missing. S tier. Straight to S tier. If you have Moon, you most likely get I think if you have Moon and even you if you don't have combo, you can most likely get surpassed stage one hundred if you have got this right partner. Moon enables you a lot in this game right now. So, Moon, it's just amazing. I haven't tested with Moon yet, but I know Moon has also some mechanics like the Solar. You need 3, 5, or 7 on the field to activate the Moon, but still, Moon is still a nice dice. Because the Moon, what is Moon? Moon is the combination. If the Light and the Critical dice did a fusion, then the moon dice will come out. And with higher stats, you know, if some Goku and Vegeta does their fusion, they are stronger with higher stats. They don't get their both strong power and they are just more stronger. Yeah, just some Dragon Ball Z reference. 
Um, mine dies. Mm. I put it to A minus. It it can be very useful. Depends on what deck you're playing. But this is also a selfish dice. But like combo decks or other decks, I rate this one over the sacrifice because you gain much, much, much more SP out of those. Uh, wave dice. I did it with a video, and somebody said, "What was he even doing?" Yeah, the the wave that doesn't do anything. The arrow dice, I put it, I'll put it B minus. It can do a little bit more damage, but I I put it C because it takes randomly. Why? Why? So this is my tier list for my corp missions, corp battles. As always, I put my tier list in my Discord, so you can see it if you. Don't want to pause the video because you can't here see the whole list. Anyway, that's with the video. Thanks for watching and bye.